All right, I wanted to give everybody an update on the VMG. Um, I'm having some issues with the iron creating this odd magnetic field shape that overlaps, which I lose my, un, it undefines the field gap in between these two magnets. So on the plastic wheels, there's a bubble here and a bubble here. And this is uh, actually, if these are north, then that becomes a south. Well, these overlap, and it is a south, but it's a real muddy magnetic field pattern that being created by these wheels. Uh, I've had it up to 1800 RPM, just barely. And uh, I'm not really pleased with the results, but the motor's performing well. I'm going to have to come up with another solution. Um, I'm not really happy with the performance at this time, although some of the changes is the motor is now uh, I've got it plugged, plugged into an extension cord through a bridge rectifier into the input, which is giving me 139 point whatever. So the motor is running at 139 volts DC. Uh, I've got five batteries tied together on the output, so there's five batteries in parallel at 12 volts. That's coming from the output. So let's start it up at 130 volts and see what happens here. So now the motor's running on house current that's only bridge rectified and the motor's running at 134 volts and the output's 12 volts into five batteries in parallel. Um, I used three of these rheostats to calibrate the, the trigger ohmage to allow me to run 120 volts. Um, a little side here. So right now the generator in the middle is not hooked up. It, it's very inefficient. Uh, and it has to do with the way the windings are wound in the um, AC motor. Uh, my other three-phase, polyphase generator that's wired in three phases, it works great. This one doesn't. Um, it's hard, this motor is hard pressed to get up to that high speed. And when I do, I'm just barely making enough power. So. The new plan is to rework this and rewire it. So, uh, 120 volts, 12.2 volts into five batteries, and we're put. 10 amps into those batteries, and those are starting to get hot, so I'm going to turn it off here. I need to be cranked down a little bit, but I just wanted to give you a look at it. It's really not the way it's going to be going here soon, so these are all experiments. We learn from the, the experiment, we make improvements. So, it's all part of the process. If it's not a success, it's a learning experience. And you have to keep that in mind when you do these experiments. So that's the state of the VMG right now. And uh, I'll be posting new videos soon with the new motor which is in the process of being built. The wheel is 25 inches, weighs 30 pounds, to give you some idea of what the VMG 4.0 will be. It will not be this motor anymore. It will be a new motor. This motor's 
uh, destined to be retooled. That's it for now. Uh, I'll be posting more videos soon. Keep experimenting. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. Signing out.